Hi everybody, this is Adam from Waxpack Gods. I hope you're doing well. I'm coming to you from a Friday night after a long week. I thought, what better time to dig into some baseball cards, baseball card-ish things, uh, than a Friday night to kick off a weekend. Um, on Twitter this week, we've talked a little bit about potentially doing what I'm calling collection resurrection, where I kind of dig into my uh, childhood a baseball card collection and, and organize it finally maybe put it into sheets or something still kind of on the fence about that so I'd like to know you know if you'd be interested in uh, kind of following along a journey along those lines maybe you want to do the same thing with your collection if you've got your old cards hanging about maybe in shoe boxes or, or what have you uh, but tonight I thought we would get a little flavor of that by breaking out this envelope that I've had for a few months now. Um, I came across it sitting kind of under some junk at a fairly local antique shop yeah, last spring. The thing that caught my eye right away was Red's photos. And if you are a baseball fan and a collector, you know how the, the cardboard radar kind of goes off whenever you see even a little snippet sticking out. So I wasn't sure um, what I would find, but I thought it might be something kind of cool. If you look at the uh, label here, you can see it's, it is a, a postage, U.S. postage envelope. And it says, to Mike Wine Wilson from Pamela McQueen. 25 cents, 12 Reds photos. It's pretty cool sounding. Flip it over, it looks like there's some sort of drawing there. I'm not sure if it's appropriate, so I won't look at it. But we see a written in pencil is a date 4 15 of 59 so tax day of 1959. So open these up or open this up and pull out the treasure and we have white paper until we turn it over. So I knew these looked familiar so I did a little googling and found out that these are Red's photos issued by a company called J Publishing out of Cincinnati in like the 1958 to 1962 time frame. Although again, we can kind of pinpoint it a little better in this case because we have a handwritten date. Um, these were sold at souvenir stands at Crosley Field. So pretty cool. We can get a, a look at some of the guys here. It's kind of ironic that Frank Thomas would be on top since I just finished a Frank Thomas uh, card article, but it was the White Sox Slugger, not the Red Sox, or not the Red Slugger. Roy McMillan looking young and happy. Beta Pinson, very underrated player, was on a Hall of, Train, Hall of Fame track for a long time. The old left hander, Joe Nuxall. Youngest guy ever to play in the major leagues. Bob Perky. Looking appropriately perky. Oh, the great Frank Robinson, who we just lost this year. Great looking card slash poster picture of Frank before he was an old 30 and the Reds traded him away. Great, great move there. Brooks Lawrence. Not really familiar with Brooks, uh, but he's another guy who looks kind of happy to be on the ball diamond. The hat is so white that it just fades into the background there. Kind of interesting visual because the sea kind of floats out at you. Ed Bailey. I think he was a catcher. Gus Bell. So it's a more pensive look from old Gus than you sometimes see. Take a look at his uh, 1960 Topps baseball card sometimes if you want to see a very happy baseball player. And of course he's the father of Buddy Bell and the grandfather of David Bell, all with strong Reds ties. Jerry Lynch. Johnny Temple. Probably a pitching coach by this point. And Don Newcomb, look at that. So, uh, we don't often think of uh, Newcomb as being with the Reds, right? Uh, but towards the end of his career, he did spend a little time with Cincinnati. So that's really cool to see him in that shot. So anyway, there you have 
some of the J photos from 1959 in this case, issued at Crosley Field. Part of a potential preview for Collection Resurrection. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it. And I would ask that you also consider subscribing to the channel. You can find us, of course, at waxpackgods.com and on Twitter at waxpackgods. Thanks a lot.